And I'm back again with Santa Claus. Uh, so, yeah, last week I was talking about uh, my job and how hopefully I would be working uh, by today, I guess. But that didn't happen. Uh, uh, they were uh, trying to have the whole mountain, or at least uh, part of the mountain opened by this weekend, but they uh, did not get enough snow uh, to do that yet. And uh, I, I guess conditions to make man-made snow aren't right. Uh, so they can't do much of that. So yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting for snow so I can work. Uh, they do actually have the tubing hill open right now, uh, but uh, the people working there are uh, employees from other departments on the ski hill uh, who, who aren't working uh, in in their departments because the, the mountain isn't open so they just uh, move those people over to the tubing hill and they do that so that they won't have to bring on new people and then uh, have to pay them for working so they can just keep the number of people small. And, uh, and since, since uh, the mountain's not open, they're not bringing in a whole lot of money and uh, this keeps their uh, expenses down. Which which makes sense, and and uh, I I can see why that they're doing that. And yeah, they've told everyone that uh, they still have a job. They just can't put uh, anyone to work right now because of the lack of snow. So uh, right now it's it just a waiting game. I did say I would try to have a different topic to talk about this week uh, besides work. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and tie this into a topic um, which, which I guess is waiting and being patient because yeah, I've done a lot of waiting in my life, and actually the, the type of waiting is like uh, if I have to go talk to someone, like I have a question to ask them, I'll actually just go over to them and stand by them and wait for them to notice me. And I've now learned that uh, I could either waste time waiting for them to notice me, or I could just get it over with and uh, go up to them and get their attention uh, uh, myself, I guess. So yeah, I've been trying to get people's attention other ways, like uh, by talking, uh, by saying, uh, excuse me, can I ask you something? Or just, hello, hi, stuff like that. So being proactive, I guess you could call it. And there are some times when I do have to wait like if someone's 
talking on the phone to someone else or they're uh, talking to someone else in person, I guess, yeah, then I'll, I'll wait because I, I don't really want to interrupt them. But, but if they, you know, see me and they uh, stop the conversation uh, to, to uh, turn their attention to me, then that works. Or other times, uh, like when I'm working and I'm not exactly sure uh, if I'm still needed, like uh, if I can go home or if there's more work for me to do, then uh, I would also just like uh, stand around doing nothing and wait for uh, them to realize that they might not need me. Uh, but yeah, now, now I realize that if I just uh, go up to them and ask them if I'm still needed here, uh, then I can get an answer sooner and I, I might be able to go home sooner instead of being in a place where I'm not needed, doing nothing. That, that's what I've learned and, and that's what I'm trying to change. Uh, but, but in a situation like uh, this one with my current job, then there's really nothing I can do then to wait because they've already given me all the information I need and I don't, I don't need to ask them any more questions. Uh, all I have to do is wait for snow. <coughs> but, but, uh, and in other news, the reality TV show I went to Colorado to work on finally uh, premiered on TV. Uh, it, it's Top Chef. I think it's safe to say the name of the TV show now since the season has already been filmed uh, and it's now on television. But there's one thing that happened. Uh, uh, I, I didn't watch the whole episode that premiered, but I saw the ending credits. Uh, I, saw those so I could see my name and when uh, they did show my name uh, it was spelled wrong yeah <laughs> yeah they spelled my name wrong it was my last name that they spelled wrong uh, which has happened many times before because it, it's it's a hard name to spell and to pronounce. Although the way they spelled it, I've never seen anyone else spell it that way. Uh, but my last name is 10 letters long, but they put in 12 letters. And uh, they even uh, checked with me twice and, and everyone else on the crew to make sure all of our names uh, were spelled correctly and uh, our job uh, positions were also correct. And yeah, I looked at uh, the spell spelling of both of my names 
uh, first and last, and they were both spelled correctly uh, both times when uh, they checked with me, but now for some reason uh, when it actually came on TV, they spelled it incorrectly. Yeah, uh, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm used to people misspelling uh, both my first and last name. Uh, people usually spell my first name D I L L O N, Dylan, but uh, I spell my name D Y L A N, like Bob Dylan. And people also pronounce it uh, Dylan. Like, really? Really? Never heard of Bob Dylan? But yeah, it's it's weird. Is I've met a couple other Dylans before. One was actually also working on Top Chef, and they all spelled their names D Y L A N. I don't think I've ever met. Uh, Dylan, who spells their name D-I-L-L-O-N, and I've definitely never met uh, any other person who uh, pronounces it Dylan. Does it? That doesn't even sound like a name, Dylan. No, no it, it's it's Dylan. But it is still kind of funny that I get my name in the credits of this uh, popular TV show and my name is spelled wrong. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, hopefully uh, I can get in contact with someone uh, who can fix it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'd be nice to see my name spelled correct, correctly on TV. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this vlog. Uh, so, until next video, uh, goodbye.